all right we'll make one more video regarding the rocker arms and stuff like that so right now we got my 1835 been working on these engines for a while i got this rocker arms that are scat with the heads are empty i have some issues with the geometry so right now um we're at half lift and um and um, right now the push rod is nice and straight with the with the adjuster here it's not like up or down it's nice and straight and the tap it or the uh, the um <clears throat> the rock around tip is in the middle of the valve at half lift i made a mark over here i mean right there it's right in the middle one thing i want to tell you guys even if they're brand new you always gotta check doesn't mean that it says one two five. It's gonna be a one two five rocker. Right now, this rocker says it's one two five, but it's not giving you one two five. It's giving you one point three two because three ninety says one two five. It's supposed to be four eighty four eighty seven left four ninety, and it's giving me five twenty three left. So um, always check things out. Make sure that the rocker arms have side to side have some clearance. They're not too tight or too loose. You want to leave them between two to four thousands, you know, clearance side to side. If they're tighter than that, you have to machine this down so it doesn't bind because you're trying to reduce all the friction that you can, <clears throat> you know. So always check things before you put engines together, you know. I've been working on this engine, like I said, for a while. I had to make these custom blocks to change the, ge the geometry. So I'm pretty satisfied with the results. So this is my engine. Um, I made this piece. This is this had a magnet on it, so I welded a a um, half inch. I mean, an eight millimeter stud. I welded to the nut here, and I'm able to use the indicator, so I can check my left and all that stuff. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, give my video some likes and comment. You know, I'm just trying to teach people something so they can learn you know teach them so they don't have to go through what i go through or other people go through so hopefully you guys like this video and i'm hopefully in a few weeks i have this engine ready to start i still gotta go a couple things to do like hone the cylinders install the rings and stuff like that but the engine is coming along great <clears throat> so here it is here's my uh the other side you know a nice little engine hopefully we can make some horsepower with it i'm gonna turbo it put a small turbo on it but here it is this engine has a lot of work that's the exhaust side it's a little bit bigger you know i didn't go crazy um i removed the guy I sh you know to get a little more flow they say it's not good to remove all the guy but it's too late now but hopefully it'll get some power i incorporated whatever i did to my 1776 into this one and here's the intake side. Alright, you guys take care.